my son Casey, um, who was 19, was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia in March of 2013. And he uh, passed away two months later in uh, May 16th of 2013. Coming through the doors of Gilda's for the first time, um, I was a little nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I got involved with Gilda's. Um, I was actually told about Gilda's Club by the social worker in the hospital um, the day that um, we decided to take Rob off of the um, life support. After my husband, Jeremy, died, I was looking for some sort of grief support group. I came across Gilda's Club and I saw that they had a young adult group. And so I came here for the new member meeting. I ended up going home afterwards because it was a big enough step for me to get there that day. It, we have a unique story because uh, David was diagnosed before I met him. And he, so he was diagnosed in 2009 and we met in 2012 and um, fell in love even though he had a brain tumor. And at that point it was pretty slow growing. I didn't have that moment of diagnosis and discovering. It was, I, I, it was something that I knew about him right away when I met him. So they gave me five to seven years to live and I just celebrated uh, number 10. Well, we started coming to Gilda's Club because I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer in January of 2017. Um, a lot of people have asked me, you know, did you, did a doctor find it or was there something else? And no, I found it on my own. I was um, 38 at the time. So it was quite a surprise. I first heard about Gilda's after my husband suddenly passed away, and that's how I came to be here. I was struggling. I lost my son to suicide uh, April of 2017. I called and, and was given the information about the Traumatic Grief Group. I lost my wife a while back, and uh, I just happened to stumble upon it, you know? I just, online, researching, and gave it a shot. I learned first about Gilda's Club uh, through my healthcare provider. When my kids started to, to show signs of, of emotional need, then we decided it was time. I have always felt super supported by Gilda's Club by coming here. Um, it's a very safe space to share, to sob, to laugh, just let any kind of emotions, I mean, even something that's not directly related to your grief per se, but just something that's frustrated you during the week that you would go to talk to your person about mm -hmm. who passed, and it's somewhere to share those those thoughts and those feelings, so. Yeah, no matter what your background is, what your race or nationality, it just lights in your, your, your heart and your, your soul to laugh. And uh, so we can, all can relate to that. And it doesn't really matter what your, your background is. If I never found Gilda's Club, I may, may be struggling a little bit, just functioning. Having Gilda's Club is so important to us to get through this whole process, just to have that safe space. To, we come once a week, so have a safe space to come once a week. Um, if that weren't available, I'm sure we'd figure out a way to survive. It's just helped us through this so much. If I go, I know that she has a spot here forever. I uh, really can't imagine where I would be if I hadn't um, been able to come here in the, um, t the time very close to when I lost my son. When I got into the group with uh, Celeste and then Richard, I think that what we all have in common is that we know and we remind ourselves all the time, we aren't going to get over this. We just need to learn how to live with it. I don't know that you can measure how important a place like this is. 
you know, a doctor saves a life. They perform an operation on the heart or a firefighter, you know, they rescue a person from a burning building. Gildas, this is a rare, rare group. They save lives, they save spirits, they save hearts, they help us to go on. So they save lives also. Gildas has this great community and they also from that built off of that with Laugh Fest. I think it's important to show that you do need some humor through whether you're going through cancer treatment or grief. Both of those are incredibly difficult journeys to go on. Laugh Fest is, is one of those beautiful opportunities where you get to see a lot of that um, volunteering and the people face to face. Um, and I'm always just so grateful and really impressed that we live in such a, a beautiful area where people care for you even if they don't know you. Gilda's Club makes us happy. <laughs>